Albert Einstein said, smart people solve problems. Geniuses prevent them. There's a lot of problems that humanity is facing that need to be solved by competent technical people. And the number of kids that start out early in life realizing that's a possibility for them is too small. That's why we started first. We wanted to give kids the opportunity to see how exciting the world of science and technology is, to be able to go through life pursuing whatever they end up finding their passion to be. The best way to inspire young people is to first show them what the power of something is so they decide, that's cool, I want to do that, and then give them a plausible roadmap as to how to get there. We're not a science fair masquerading as a sport. We are a sport. We have the only sport where every kid can turn pro because believe it or not, there aren't a few million new job openings every year in the NFL and the NBA, but we are right now short in this country alone, a few million engineers to solve all the problems that we're desperately trying to solve. I think we need as a culture to celebrate more the accomplishments of scientists and engineers because in a free culture you get the best of what you celebrate. We ought to celebrate great artists, great musicians, and great athletes, but we also ought to celebrate the great contributors to advancements in science and technology because that's the group that assures that we will have a successful future. One thing is very clear, technology is moving faster than ever. The most important thing then we can give kids is the tools to be prepared for whatever is coming. And more than being prepared for it, we're gonna give them the tools to help create the future. The future that they want. The careers that they want. They don't want jobs, they want exciting opportunities to make a big difference in the world. First gathers mentors, teachers, parents, corporate leaders, and the students themselves doing all the right things for all the right reasons. I had so many mentors as a young person. I was being interviewed by somebody who said, well, I guess what really inspired you to do what you did is your dad. And I said, oh no, my dad is an artist. He was absolutely nothing like what I do in life. And she looked at me and kind of politely said, your dad was a self-employed cartoonist going out of high school. And he's to this day working for himself as an illustrator. He's never had a job. He gets up every day to create something of value. She looks at me and says, you're exactly like your dad. You just use different tools. And I had never realized that until she asked me that question. I'm Dean Kamen, the founder of FIRST.